Okay, there's no time to waste, so let's get directly to putting this into action. Uh, first, I'm going to show you uh, some of the more advanced features inside the Google Plus dashboard. And with these features, it basically becomes a new method of promoting your products to a list. And uh, after that, I'm going to be showing you how to get tons of plus one clicks with a few different methods for you to try out. So let's talk about circles first. Basically, Google Circles um, within Google Plus is a way to create separate lists of people. I mean, for example, uh, you can create two lists that have your business partners on one and uh, all of your customers on another. Now, as far as the list of buyers goes, I won't say that Google Plus or anything else for that matter is going to be a replacement uh, for an actual email list like something on Aweber, uh, but it does have its benefits. Now, a lot of people um, don't use email anymore because of how convenient it is to uh, use social networking. So, um, you know, these people are going to keep in touch with their friends, their associates, and business partners via messages, which are, you know, kind of like email, but messages on a social networking website. And uh, that's where circles will come into play. Okay, so let's go to our Google Plus profile here, and we want to click on this button um, right here that you're seeing, and it looks like a couple of circles intertwined, and you're going to be brought to a page that uh, looks like this. Now, take in mind uh, that you need to add people to your circles in the first place in order to uh, organize this. I only have one friend uh, right here, and uh, when you're browsing people on Google Plus, you're going to see that it has an Add to Circles button on their profile so you can add a person there so just click that and they're going to be showing up in your main circles area in your uh, google plus dashboard now uh, as you can see like i said i've only got one friend here this is just a uh, test account and uh, currently, Brad Goss is added to my friend circle. Now, the other options that you see here are going to be a uh, family, acquaintances, uh, following, and so on. So feel free to add anyone to any of these circles by simply dragging their name to that particular circle. Now, on the left side, you'll see that inside the circle it says, drop contacts here to create circle. Now, once you drop the person there, you'll be met with a dialog where you can name your circle. Now, this is simply organizing your list. Now, you can go through the people you've already added and uh, sort them later, or you can add them to the circle that you want to upon adding them on their Google Plus page. Now, what I like to do is create two completely separate circles, one for my business partners and one for my customers or buyers. I mean, that way, um, I, when I send messages uh, in the future, I can target a specific group. I mean, for example, I may want to send all of my partners partners a notice that uh, I've got a new product on the way and that I'd like for them to promote it for me to their list or to uh, one of their circles where they have a bunch of their uh, buyers or customers. Now, after I've contacted them and I've got all of my affiliate mail out stuff squared away, uh, when it's time to shoot out the product to my list, I can go right back to Google Plus and create a message that goes only to my list of buyers. Now, on top of that, think about what your partners will do. Uh, they may have an uh, email list where uh, they're going to promote your product to, but they'll also be sending a message to their Google circle of buyers. Now, they may have an email list that they'll promote your products to, and I'm talking like a real genuine email list, like something on Aweber or GetResponse, uh, but they'll also be sending a message to their Google Circle list of buyers. Now, all of this takes place from one single place, Google+. Plus. And like I mentioned, this is not a replacement for an email list, uh, a proper email list, so you should always have that regardless. However, uh, you've also got to factor in that Google+, Plus is one, free, and two, that many people don't even use email anymore since social networking is taking off and uh, it's where most people uh, do their communication, especially youngsters these days. Now, um, let's talk about streams here. Now, a stream is where you post a message and it can be viewed by whomever. Now, this is kind of like posting on a uh, Facebook wall. With the streams feature on Google+, uh, we can select who gets to see the messages you're posting on your stream. For example, you may want to post uh, more of a personal message uh, there. So your actual friends, I'm talking like friends in real life now, can see it. You know, uh, something funny, uh, something personal, something like that. And to do this, um, you can write a message in your stream box at the top of your page, as you're seeing right here. 
Now after that, you want to click on the Add Circles button. And from here, you can select uh, which group or circle gets to see your stream message. And when you click this, you're going to be able to see all of your circles, and you'll be able to select uh, which ones are going to be able to view uh, the stream message. So that's nifty. And after that, it's uh, just clicking the share button, which shares your message with whomever you want to see it. So that's it. Uh, that's pretty simple. Just make a few circles to keep in touch with your list and your partners. Uh, post a message informing them of whatever you need to, like uh, promoting a product, and you're set. So your stream is going to be the thing that functions as uh, sending an email message with uh, promoting your product and so on. So now that you're familiar with that, let's get on to some wizardry having to do with the plus one clicks.